Welcome to the advanced artwork tutorial for Liquid 3D. You may have already seen what makes this dimensional decoration so unique, but in this comprehensive guide, you'll learn how to set up vector artwork for Liquid 3D and design like a pro. I'll walk you through everything you need to know to prepare your artwork and use the Liquid 3D Builder's advanced features to get the best results possible. Now, first things first for Liquid 3D, you're going to need a PDF vector file. That means no raster images, no embedded JPEGs or PNGs, and no gradients in your file. Now, gradients can be added later in the builder, but your upload should be solid vector shapes for best results. We are building a 3D piece of artwork here in real time after all. Now, similar to other printing methods, fonts should be outlined, strokes should be expanded, and shapes converted to paths. Think of it like handing off a blueprint more than submitting print-ready artwork. Now, one more thing I want to mention here, too, is paths and shapes. To ensure your designs import correctly, try to eliminate any unnecessary points along paths or shapes, like this example. These unnecessary points along the paths could be removed for a much cleaner line and less complex shape for Liquid 3D. You could easily view your shapes in vector programs like Corel Draw or Adobe Illustrator, like this, to check to ensure your file does not include overlapping paths that are slightly offset from one another. You could just go up here and click View Outlines. And this is going to help you spot anything that's going to cause errors when you're importing your artwork into the Liquid 3D Builder. Now, one of the two elements for these emblems is the fabric layer. Every single Liquid 3D design requires one. It's the foundation that your dimensional details are going to be built on. The fabric layer must be all-encompassing, essentially one continuous shape that connects your entire logo. Now, it should sit at least one millimeter outside your design as a clean offset. Holes are allowed, but they're going to have to be larger than 2.5 millimeters. Otherwise, the system's automatically going to close them up. Now, here at launch, this is available as white or black fabric. Now, if your file doesn't have a fabric layer, the builder can generate one automatically for you, but making your own gives you way more artistic control, like this example. The golf logo uses its fabric layer as a shadow effect behind the text. This turns that outline into part of the design, and this is just set up as a background vector shape in your file in a program like Illustrator or Corel Draw. Now, before we dive more into the builder, Let's cover minimum sizes. The artwork itself must fit within a 4 by 2.375 inch size. Now you could always resize right here in the import design window too for those larger files. Now there are some minimum requirements for elements in your design. Elements directly on the fabric layer need to be at least 1.25 millimeters thick. And raised elements, designs that sit above the surrounding layer, can be as fine as 0.25 millimeters. You could even print super small details like copyright symbols, just keep them the same height as the surrounding layer. But that's a lot to remember. The good news is you don't have to remember it all. The builder will automatically check these rules for you and even apply fixes to tiny details when possible. But knowing these limits up front helps you avoid any surprises or issues with your artwork. Now, one more pro tip on the file prep that makes editing much easier once you're in the builder is to color code elements in your vector file. Even if your colors aren't final, using different swatches helps you quickly select and control the elements in the builder. There's over 180 different colors to choose from. Think of it like working with layers or groups, but using color coding for quick selection to change the elevation. Now, once your artwork is uploaded, the real fun begins inside the Liquid 3D Builder. You'll have full control to bring your ideas to life. Let's walk through some of these main tools. Elevation is going to raise or lower individual elements to change their elevation. Select each element with a click, Hold Shift to select multiple elements, or just select by color down here at the bottom. The slider controls depth, or you can manually type in any number from 1.25 to 2.5 for the maximum height. By dragging the slider all the way down to the left-hand side, it's going to hide your shape and drop it into the fabric layer. Next up is edge effects. Now to add edge effects like rounded edges or a bevel, just click right here. 
This wraps the color or texture around the edges with it too. With the slider, you could adjust the width or the radius of those corners. Textures allows you to apply textures for a unique surface look and feel. Choose from a wide variety in here, from fabrics to wood grain, animal patterns, and so much more. Now, textures are going to be the top 0.75 millimeters of the design. Now, color here allows you the ability to recolor elements within your artwork or add gradients, which could be added by clicking the swatch here on the slider and a color from the palette. You could also add more points for different colors by clicking add and even changing the angle of the gradient right here. Want something beyond the built-in textures? You could prepare a custom texture right in your artwork. Build your texture as a vector shape on top of your design, then assign them a unique color. When you upload, that color is going to let you quickly isolate and adjust the elevation right here in the builder. And that's your complete guide to advanced artwork techniques and setup for Liquid 3D. By starting with a clean vector file, setting up your fabric layers correctly, and using the builder's effects, you'll unlock the full creative power of this new dimensional technology.